So y'all mean to tell me that Diamond Body is not the only one who lost a tooth? They need to go into dentistry, honey. And they should specialize in tooth extraction. Well, put your tooth up under the pillow. Maybe let me give you a batty chain. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo! What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Lace to Real. We're back up in this thing with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Baddies Caribbean Reunion Part 2. <laughs> y'all know I'm acting like this. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, we start off the episode with Tink and Meatball fighting again. Okay, so Tinkerbella and Meatball just fought. Tinkerbella was hitting the shit out of Meatball body. Like, she was giving her them body shots, honey. But all them hits that these girls done gave to Meatball seems like Meatball is hella unfazed. Like, because Meatball has the crowd chanting. She's up here jumping around. Like, Meatball could give two fucks. Like, she done caught fades from everybody. Now, what I didn't like was Slim Too Bad, Slim Too Bad Body um, trying to sneak Meatball. Now, Jayla and Meatball fight, honey. I honestly didn't even feel like Meatball was hitting. I didn't feel like Jayla was hitting. I just really feel like they was like, I don't know. It just felt like, you know, when you in a dream, you feel like you're fighting somebody. You feel like you're doing damage and you're not doing anything. That's really what it was giving. But Meatball did try to 300 kick Jayla. I wish it connected more. But, you know. The force wasn't with Meatball in that moment. Now, Saucy Santana is hella messy by having the crowd chant Meatball like that. Like, Jayla wholeheartedly, like, put her heart on the line trying to fight Meatball. And the crowd is screaming Meatball. Like, <laughs> that would piss me off even more. That would make me want to fight even more. Like, now, I don't know if y'all seen this, but when Natalie walks by Tinkabella, <laughs> she hits her with this. Congratulations. Oh, war. Let's, let's move on. I don't know if Tinkabella is throwing a pencil or Sapphire's pencil or whatever, but whatever happened, she ended up at the, the bottom of a chair. Meatball put her in a chair like a puzzle piece, bitch, okay? Like, now, security dressed Tinkabella out like Sunday's trash, honey, and they, they carried her out. They said, listen, you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. They carries her out. Tommy is talking to Meatball, and she's like, girl, don't let these girls get you out your body. Like, don't don't let them, you know, make you do some shit that you don't want to do. Like, which I can respect Tommy for. That's some real shit, okay? And Meatball genuinely was hurt because when she went on a little rampage and she was basically telling them how she felt and how her and Tinkabella was real friends, like, real, real friends. Like, she knows Tinkabella. Like, they are from the same hood type stuff. And she is not happy about this. Like, she said that this shit really does hurt her. Like, this, this shit hurts her feelings. So, I really felt for Meatball in that situation. And, you know, you can tell that she was definitely hurt by having to fight Tinkabella. But, baby, the way she put her ass up in that chill. You could tell Janisha is over the bullshit, baby. You could see it all over her face. And then they zoom in on Saucy Santana greasy ass arm. I <laughs> they bring out Diamond the Body. And Diamond the Body is on one when she comes out. When Domino Body came out, she was like, line it up, like, who want it, who want the smoke? So Tzatziki stands up, and she's like, okay, bitch, I'm about to give you what the fuck you asking for, okay? Now, they get the squabbling, and Diamond's wig came off because this bitch is wearing a whole lot of swim cap up under there. Now, Tommy, what what, is, what did Tommy slip on? Did she slip on the wig? Chair. <laughs> Tommy literally cannot come back unless she's sober because, baby, drunk Tommy is taking me out. Like, Tommy, how did you end up on your back? <laughs> she must have slipped on that wig. That must have been a good Brazilian hair, okay? Now, I did forget to mention that when Diamond came out, did y'all not see Natalie? And her banana wafers, clappers, flipping over that couch because she said, "You not finna run up on me, Nelly. All that mouth you got, baby, and you running from Diamond the Body, ass cheeks and all, girl. That's quite interesting. 
Cause I, I, I thought you beat bitches up. I thought, I thought. I guess not. Now, Diamond comes back. I'm thinking she's coming back for a round two with Tzatziki. But she's coming back for a uh, round one with Slim to Bad Body. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to be honest. Diamond was feeding Slim to Body. Slim to Bad Body. <laughs> she was feeding it to her. Um, Slim was getting a little bit of hit scene. I don't know if her ass is too heavy for her to be able to, to fight right. But, child... You know, and I was like, damn, why you ain't do that with Tzatziki, baby? Why why you ain't do that with Tzatziki? But but you did hold your own, but you just got your lip busted and your tooth is gone. When Dominic is up there talking shit, okay, <laughs> Tzatziki yells out. <laughs> Tzatziki said, get this bitch an ambulance. <laughs> They're going to need a couple ambulances for you bitches this episode. Jayla included. Okay. They bring out Big Gretch. Okay. And the audience is low-key booing Big Gretch. <laughs> Y'all, this audience has me tripped up for this episode. They was ghetto. Okay. It's, it's Saucy's fault. When Gretchen and Jayla start fighting... Callie brings it upon herself to try to run up and sneak Jayla and ends up airballing. <laughs> bitch ain't hit nothing. <laughs> Any Jayla's scalp ain't get no win, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> she went straight into the couch. Well, she didn't go into the couch. She went straight into Sapphire's arm. <laughs> into a choke hole. <laughs> How you try to sneak somebody? Airball the punch. Land into somebody else's arm and end up in a chokehold, bitch. All by dressed like a Halloween jack o' lantern. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, okay? Saucy tells the girls, like, somebody should have handled Callie because there should be no reason why this bitch jumped up and tried to jump in a fight or try to jump Jayla and ain't nobody, like, square up with her because if you want to keep it hot like if it was real life real real life and somebody was jumping in a fight and it was your hunger you would end up fighting the bitch that tried to jump in that's just how it works okay so in my opinion saucy was right with that call okay this is my question was jayla biting gretchen or was gretchen pulling jayla tooth out It'll never be forgiven between me and Gretchen if I was Jayla. Because, bitch, first, first thing you do is bite me on my chest. I had a zombie mark the whole fucking season. And now you done pulled one of my teeth out, bitch. It's on site every single motherfucking time. We could be 60 years old in the park knitting a sweater for our grandkids, bitch. It's, it's on site. It's on site. So y'all mean to tell me that Diamond the Body is not the only one who lost a tooth? They need to go into dentistry, honey. And they should specialize in tooth extraction. But, God. Well, put your tooth up under the pillow. Maybe let me give you a batty chain. Oli, Onamac, and Asian Doll come out. And it's a bunch of yapping going on. I could care less. But Janisha looks at Asian Doll and is like, Girl, you done took your shoes off. What's tea? Like, what's tea? And Asian Doll is like, Well... We outside, we we not here to be looking good. Like, I got to make sure I'm ready. And she claims that she don't like Bianca, blah, blah, blah. And Saucy being Saucy says, well, that must be why Bianca is not here. Because she must have known the Asian doll was on her head. I said, <laughs> Saucy is messy. And I hope they bring him back every season. Because he is giving, okay? They might need to go ahead and give Janisha the boot. Because this whole settling stuff is not working. Because Saucy... <laughs> Is giving us what we need. He's being messy and he's saying what needs to be said. Now, this makes Anna Mac take off her shoes too, which she should because she has beef with Nunu. Now, Santana asked Anna, like, did you fuck Nunu, baby daddy? Like, what's tea? Like, why she so mad? And Anna said, baby, I don't even know him. <laughs> Now, this goes in line with everybody saying that production told Nunu to pick a fight with Anna for no reason. This is basically validating that because. Baby, if she don't know your baby daddy, why are you bringing that up? And I understand that she said that she was mad that Anna Mac put her hands on Mariah's mama. But girl, 
somebody mama put their hand on you continuously, are you going to sit there and take that beating? No, you're going to start whooping ass, okay? So, I don't want to hear that shit. Now, at this point, Tommy is way too lit. Somebody need to get her some ginger ale and some crackers, and she needs to get a nap and sleep that whatever the hell she's on off, okay? Because Tommy is on one. She's stuttering. She's sounding like Rocky Balboa. Like, I just cannot take it at this point. I'm like, damn. Now, after Tommy gets done antagonizing Roly and basically gaslighting her, they bring Nunu out. Now, this is the funny part. When they bring Nunu out, Saucy Santana is literally pointing at Ana and is like, dear she... <laughs> He's like, dear she go, <laughs> dear she go. After the crowd says that they want a round three between Ana Mac and Nunu, Jayla comes out and tries to sneak Callie. And the crowd is so messy. They're like, yes, yeah, like let Callie get her let like the audience is so ratchet y'all now at this point Roly is sick of Tommy she's like you're bothering me <laughs> you're bothering me and Tommy's up there like antagonizing the fuck out of Roly still and before Roly tells Tommy like you're jealous of me bitch you jealous bitch and Tommy's like really Roly <laughs> And the funny thing is, is that she said, I will strip butt naked right now. Sapphire said, please do. <laughs> what really got me was Tommy saying, <laughs> Tommy saying, I'm b -b 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 on it. <laughs> I said, this bitch is too unserious for me. She been in that bag. She been in that bottle. Tommy is unhinged. Okay. At this point, drag her out like y'all did Tinkerbella. Okay. Because she's doing the most. Tell me y'all saw the last two seconds when J.O. smacked the big Dominican out of Biggie. Child. Slap the fire. Smack the fuego out of Biggie mouth. Tell me what y'all thought about this episode of the reunion. I loved it. I loved every second of it. Bitches was fighting. Bitches was in swim caps. Bitches was in wig caps. But tell me what y'all thought about this episode of Baddies Caribbean Reunion Part 2. Like I said, I loved it. Tell me what your favorite parts was. Let's go ahead and get the chat. Popping, it's your girl Lexi Real, and we're about to stay. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo.